how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, because you first love me. Are you loving tonight? Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Oh, because you first love me. to me, Jesus is wonderful, oh to me, Jesus is wonderful, to me, Jesus is wonderful, oh because he first loved me. Let's pray. You know, we don't have to invite him in, but if you didn't come here with him invited in in your heart, then invite him in in the service tonight. Tell him you need something. You know, he ain't changed anything from last week. I'm here to obey the Lord and strengthen the things that remain. And I guess as long as I'm on this earth, I feel like that's what I'm doing. There's a few things, there's a few people that's holding on to Jesus. When it looks like hope is gone, they're holding on. And you know, that's what we need to do. We need to strengthen one another. We need to hold one another up. So not too many wants Jesus and all of his truths. They want programs and all the things that go with the programs. They want, as I said, I think I said this last week, they want to be entertained. I'm not here to entertain you. I don't know nothing about entertainment. In fact, I'm so against it, I try to be the extreme opposite of anything that entertainment would imply. I don't believe Jesus wants us to do anything like that at all. We're here to praise him. We're here to love him. We're here to draw nigh unto God in this last and evil day. You know, there was three earthquakes today. The signs is everywhere. And I've got some things to say here in a little bit. But if you, if you didn't come here prepared to let Jesus in your heart, then prepare your heart right now. Open it up and say, Jesus, I need you. God, speak a word to us tonight. Father, we love you, Jesus. We need you, Lamb of God. I'm nothing. I can do nothing without you. I ask you to let me speak your words, the things that you want me to tell the people tonight. Lord, I got up and I prayed and I wept. And I felt your presence so strong today. As the day wore on and I continued to pray and I prayed some more. God, the enemy comes in like a flood and he tries to steal and destroy that that you've given us. But Lord, I ask you to refresh everything that I felt this morning, God. Make it all new. Speak a word to the people tonight, Lord. Help us. We need you, Lamb of God, like we've never needed you before in this hour. Because we don't know what the next minute, the next day holds. We need you, precious Jesus. Amen. You know, people won't admit it, but they need Jesus. I think I'm going to sing a song before I, I give out this word. It's called, The Lord Give Me the Words of This Song. I want you to listen to them. It's a little bit high for me to sing, and I think I've told you all before, ain't no guitar player. I only play one key, so if it's high, I just have to deal with it. 
Hallelujah. It ain't that high, maybe. I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. It's called eat, drink, and be merry. You know, that's what the world wants. And I'm here to encourage God's people tonight that God is not wanting us to eat, drink, and be merry. But listen to what it says, and you'll recognize that this is the way the world is. Oh, eat, drink, and be merry. That's what the people did say. They sat down to eat and drink, and then they rose up to play. Oh, eat, drink, and be merry. It still echoes in the land today. They sat down to eat and drink, and then they get up and walk away. We'll eat, drink, and be merry. That's what the people say. Well, they go home to church on Sunday. Then on Monday, hey, they won't pray. Eat, drink, and be merry. But there's coming a reckoning day. Many then will cry out. But God won't hear the things they say. Well, eat, drink, or eat, sleep, and be merry. That's what the billboard said. But if you follow this advice, spiritually you'll be dead. Well, Jesus said, take up your cross. And your very own self be nice. There can't be any shortcuts, so you might as well not try. Yes, eat, drink, and be merry. That's what the people would say. They set their hand to eat and drink, and they rose up and played. Eat, drink, and be merry. It still echoes in the land today. They set their hand to eat and drink, and then they get up and they want to play. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Lord gave me that, and it's a heavy word. Most of my songs are heavy words. Hallelujah. But oh, how I love Jesus. You know, I like them old horses praising, worshiping the Lamb of God. After I seen this one time, and the Lord was going down the highway, my other grandson that's not here tonight, his name's Keith, we call him Bub. He hollered out, we was on a trip, it was a highway that, we weren't used to it. And he hollered out and he said, the Lord had given me this song. And he said, look, look, Grammy. And I had preached it the night before. And I've never seen a billboard like this in my life. He said, look. And there was a billboard and it said, eat, sleep, and be merry. And so I wrote that last verse. That's what the billboard said. But if you follow this advice, spiritually, you'll be dead. Jesus said, take up the cross and your very own self-deny. You can't take any shortcuts, so you might as well not try. I'm going to tell you something. You know, people's taking shortcuts. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that tonight. Eat, drink, and be merry. All I can do is implore you right now and tell you that this is not the time. It's not the time to let our hearts be turned from the living God unto our own ways. People don't want the ways of Jesus. They want their own ways. Well, there's a million different ways. How many of you know there's a million different ways? Thousands and thousands and thousands until there would come a million. But let me tell you something. There's not. Those are ways that man has made. I'm going to read one verse here and then I'm going back and read some more maybe. In Mark 7 and 6, 
said, he answered, this was Jesus, and said unto them, What hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain they worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. You know, people fighting. They're going to be fighting when Jesus comes. And they're teaching for doctrines and commandments of men. Something that their organization, something that their denomination taught them. They're telling the people what they've been taught by their organizations, by their bylaws. They don't know nothing about what Jesus is saying. You know, they're just a few servants of the Lord. A few fishers of men that's out there trying to reach souls like Jesus told us to. Told them, told Peter, he said, launch out in the deep and let your net down for a drop. You know, we got to launch out in the deep. There ain't nothing deep today. They just get them a band. Harm a band, harm some singers, and harm a paid preacher. If they don't like him, they fire him. It's a good thing about, you know, when you're out there working for the Lord. If they don't hire you, they can't fire you. They want to fire you. They want to stop the servants of the Lord. They want a smooth word. When those prophets said the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. God said his people, they loved it that way. Come on, prophesy to us a lie. You know, there's one place in the, back there where they had no prophet. And they didn't want to call him. They said, ain't there somebody else because... We don't want to hear what he's got to say. Because he always prophesies bad things about me. Thank you, Jesus. One of the people there said, don't let the king say so. Go get him. You know, he come over there mocking him. The true prophet come over there mocking him, telling him, you know, what they wanted to hear. And he said, don't lie to me. You know, he knew. And then the prophet told him the truth. And he got mad. Told him, get out of here. Don't, don't. Don't tell us this. We don't want to hear this. And you know, people don't want the truth. They want fairy tales. They want lies. They want daydreams. Something that some preacher or some singer has said and daydreamed up. Well, I had a, a, a dream or I had a vision. You know, when we get something, we need to know where it came from. Because there's a lot of dreams and there's a lot of visions out there. Some of them come off of the television and they make from God. We get a vision, it's going to come from the Lord. Not Joyce Meyer. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People tell you what you want to hear. Jesus said, how be it. They honor me. They worship me with their, with their lips, but their heart is far from me. You know, people, that's what they're doing. Oh, they, you know, I've never seen as much worship as I do since I've been on the Internet. They worship him with their lips. Now, I'm going to tell you something right here, okay? I'm going to insert this. I don't know who's here, don't know who's at, not here for sure. I appreciate everybody that is here. But, you know, I, I, I see certain preachers. They'll go on there and they'll post scriptures. And then the next thing you know, they're, they're posting some honky-tonk song that I, I heard when the devil deceived me those years and I was out in the honky-tonks. You know, people, you can't worship God. And I seen a dream this week. Eat, drink, and be merry. I'm going to tell you something. You're either for Jesus or you're for the devil. You're either for salvation or you're for sin. You're either for righteousness or you're for sin. You can't have it both. You can't have it both ways. It's only one. I'm going to read a few of these scriptures before. There's not very many, but I'm going back and talk about, just for a minute, 
In Exodus 32, 7, And the Lord said unto Moses,